Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here on this Sunday, March 3rd, 2024. It's about 4.30 p.m. here, California time. Uh, latest activity on the globe shows a little microquake there into the Southern California region. I uh, just want to jump in here real quick and cover some activity taking place out here near the Greece area. They've been seeing a, a decent earthquake swarm out here over the last 24 hours. I'm sure it's uh, quite noticeable here on the globe. With the stacking of the numbers and the flags out there, uh, this region here, let me show you guys the earthquake map here from the EMSC model. This region is in a uh, little bay here in the uh, Ionian Sea region. Uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity occurring at uh, fairly decent levels there at about 14 kilometers deep or so. Nothing uh, deep out there. But uh, we're seeing a decent swarm of activity. It looks like for the majority of it, uh, it's happened within the last 24 hours. There's been a few out here uh, in the last couple days, last week or so. But again, the majority of this activity occurring here uh, today. And, uh, you know, these, these magnitudes are starting to increase slightly, as we can see there on the map and also on the globe. Quite a few threes stirring up here, quite a few twos as well. So it's hard not to notice this activity. Uh, this region has seen quite a bit of historical data as we zoom in. By the way, this area, location, Greece area, uh, in the Ionian Sea region, Ionian Islands, here's the bay. Uh, the earthquake activity is occurring roughly within that bay. See this little spot right here? If we look on the historical model here, we've seen some earthquakes around here, a couple fours and whatnot uh, historically, but these earthquakes sometimes do get a little bit larger out here. Uh, as we can see on the map, I pulled up uh, 4.5 and above since the year 1000 or so. Doesn't mean that every single earthquake is going to show up here, but the USGS does have uh, quite a few earthquakes historically within the region, including some six-pointers that occurred back in uh, well 1915, uh, 1972, a couple other fives in there as well. Uh, looks like the most recent five-pointer in this area was back in 2007. Now, uh, there is quite a few... Um, volcanoes not in this region. I was kind of looking here at the seafloor. I don't see any type of seamounts, any type of unusual uh, volcanic features. A lot of times, you know, it may be underneath the water, but uh, most of the volcanic activity sits over here around the Aegean Sea. Um, the Ionian Sea area, specifically in this region, I don't see anything. If anything, this is related to plate stress out here. This is the plate boundary that does sit just off to the west of this bay region. So, uh, uh, if anything, we could be looking at maybe some further larger scale activity taking place here uh, in this area. Uh, let's go back to the last. I want to just cover the last seven days of newer activity in this region. And uh, we'll zoom in here to this area and take a look and see what the USGS has uh, for any type of earthquake activity. Doesn't look like they have much at all out here. Um, so the EMSC is the... the uh, spot to to watch here i guess uh you know last two weeks adds a few more earthquakes on here i really haven't seen any migration of uh the earthquake patterns out here just just basically within this bay which uh, which is uh you know again historically active and sits just off of this plate boundary here so it looks like maybe things are uh, about ready to maybe see some larger activity out there uh, it's been a little while, you know, since we've seen any um, larger earthquake activity. Uh, so we're continuing to watch that. Definitely a hot spot of activity here. Um, and yeah, this is the last 48 hours. A little bit of movement up here in Italy as well. But this swarming over here, uh, just off the coast of Greece area, definitely uh, caught my eye today. So got to keep an eye on that. Uh, another area of interest here is down across the New Zealand area over the last 24 hours. We've seen, uh, well, you know, quite a bit of movement here north and south of the area of New Zealand. Uh, there's that 6.7 that came in. Uh, I see two 6.7s. I don't think we've seen two of them. Uh, one of these is going to be a, uh, a duplicate earthquake uh, from the USGS, I believe. Uh, let me double check that here and see... Yeah, there's only one 6.7. Uh, but here on the Earthquake 3D Globe, definitely see movement taking uh, a, 
uh, course up here it's kind of started up here north along the Kermadec Trench we've been noticing a lot of deeper activity here recently across New Zealand uh, and now that activity earlier this morning the New Zealand area last 48 hours we need to go back about the last week or so um, maybe even the last two weeks if it'll let us do that uh, to see some of this activity around the North Island area the uh, deep earthquakes are gonna be roughly green into the blue and purple zones here so you can see uh, a lot of deeper movement quakes here in the green circles shallow earthquakes going to be in the red uh, but we've been noticing underneath the north island area quite a bit of deeper movement quakes and some of those earthquakes are getting uh, you know fairly deep around uh, two to three hundred kilometers deep here so uh, things are definitely of concern out here recently with all the uptick going on around new zealand uh, underneath it and now north and south of it uh, could be pointing towards something much larger about ready to take place out here across the plate boundary so keep an eye on this region we don't see a lot of activity right now across the fiji vanuatu solomon islands uh, or papua new guinea area roughly eastward here uh, it has gone awfully quiet uh, for now with the adjustment and whatnot taking place down here the usgs not even showing you know some of the smaller quakes that have been happening out here across the area uh, over the last week or so yeah we've seen uh, a handful of earthquakes up here in the fiji area uh, let's see when the last one was here it looks like uh two days ago or so that 4.8 so a couple days of quietness going on here while the regions down south here make an adjustment uh, i still think we need to keep an eye there on new zealand for some further movement uh, there across the South America region, got a 4.0 coming in to the Chile area just now. Looks like uh, about 97 kilometers deep or so. Um, West Coast, California, not really seen too much activity out here. A couple smaller quakes here. We'll go check them out here real quick, see what's going on. Still got some cold weather lingering around here. Snow up in the mountains still. Um, kind of partly cloudy here where I'm at about 50 degrees so it's not quite warm it's a little on the chilly side still uh, a handful of smaller quakes out here around the fish lake valley fault looks like 1.9 uh, what do we got up here that's gonna be the 1.9 in minor but these two earthquakes here recently 2.4 and 1.7 kind of an odd location right uh, definitely on the eastern side of the sierra nevada mountains here around nevada uh, this area the fish valley lake fault uh, I remember last year had a decent earthquake swarm out here. Looks like that region may be starting up again, so we'll have to keep an eye on that uh, area. Rest of Southern California, fairly quiet. And, and as we look across the rest of the globe here, we'll check out the globe itself. Earthquake swarm out there off the coast of Greece. The Atlantic Ocean has gone awfully quiet. And that includes areas around Iceland. Let's double check that, see what's going on up there across Iceland, where we're looking at only seven earthquakes here in the last six hours, most of it way up north here, away from the Grindavik area, where we've seen uh, you know, a decent amount of swarming here. Not today, uh, but yesterday morning, uh, it all kind of just came to a halt. In fact, uh, let's see what we got for the over here and check out the Icelandic Meteorological Office. They're thinking that, um, well, let's read it and see what's going on here. This is put out today. Continued increased likelihood of an eruption. This was, uh, this is the updated one here, 1150. Well, yeah, 1150 and then 1215. Volcanic eruption could start with a very short warning time, even less than 30 minutes. Uh, but I know they were stating here that uh, things are calming down, that there's a less likelihood of an eruption because of this decreased activity. Uh, data indicates that yesterday's magma intrusion has stopped by Mount Hagafell. The likelihood of magma ascending in relation to this magma intrusion has decreased, but the area continues to be closely monitored for this possibility. So obviously we still got, uh, you know, magma keying up here. Look at this drop though. <clears throat> um, here in the last, that was the last day or so, we've seen a drop in terms of the inflation. So I, I'm not for sure if magma is finding its way somewhere else. Uh, you know, it's a little odd that we would see elevated activity 
um, but also a drop there in the volume. So where did that go? Where did what happened to the magma? Uh, let's check out some of these run times here and see what we got across the area. See if there's any unusual spike going on out here. This is a Grindavik area, but that uh, is a halt, a cease in the data from when it got ran over here by the uh, recent eruptive activity. It basically destroyed that, uh, that instrument. Um, we did, look at this data drop right here across Grindavik. That's a little odd <clears throat> that we would see that elevated activity and then just, just a sudden drop. Uh, that could mean that things have shifted somewhere else or could be shifting somewhere else. Uh, let's see here. There's a little bit of a spike here across this region. Notice that this went up while the other areas went down. Uh, so that could be a possibility here that we're seeing, uh, you know, further magma movement underneath the ground, uh, locating to maybe to some different areas. That's got down, downward trend. So yeah, we'll definitely have to keep an eye on it uh, again just a little odd you know it's definitely not behaving as as what the uh, last couple eruptions have uh, behaved so we'll continue to watch it but i think in the meantime right now we'll continue to watch a couple other regions there is that another 3.5 coming into the region i thought i seen a green flag here just pop up there in uh the greece area so we'll keep an eye on that good possibility we could be looking at maybe something larger stirring up there and uh, of course movement around the uh new zealand area there's a recent uh what is that a 5.0 coming in there that's the older one maybe that's a 4.4 4. 147 so that's fairly recent that earthquake coming in um following this activity down south so that still leads me to believe that there's definitely could be some adjustment going on here uh, soon uh, a larger scale across the new zealand area so we'll continue to watch it folks uh, not a whole lot going on here across the seismograph stations for now, but I uh, just wanted to jump in here and do a, a little early update. We'll probably cover uh, back here a little bit later on uh, this evening as well, but hope everyone's enjoying their Sunday. Uh, we got, uh, well, partly, again, partly cloudy skies out here. Not a whole lot going on in terms of the precipitation here at my neck of the woods. Up in the Sierra Nevada, we're still seeing some rainfall, well, seeing some snowfall up there. Uh, up there in the higher elevations, maybe some thunderstorms down south here, but uh, it's a little quiet out here where I'm at. Not a whole lot of uh, weather going on for now. And up in the Sierra Nevada mountains, I know they got uh, 50 open down here um, with chains, of course. Got to have chains getting over that uh, area. Still snowing out there, it looks like. Uh, Interstate 80, far as I know, is still closed down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, still snowing up there around Soda Springs. Doesn't look like, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's been through there. Maybe that was a uh, uh, emergency vehicle that went through there, but I don't see any flowing traffic. Uh, well, there goes a truck right there, huh? I don't know if I'd be out there driving in that. Still doesn't look all that safe. <laughs> doesn't look like it's been plowed at all. Uh, but as you can see, still snow, a lot of snow coming down and, uh, give it a couple days before anyone heads up there. There's some, those are probably road crew, uh, folks is what it looks like. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Uh, we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening. Keep an eye on those, uh, mentioned regions here. Uh, could be showing some elevated activity here soon. See you guys later tonight.